What is going on, guys? Wiser here, bringing you the recap of the last war for 2.0. Uh, random matchup against Exclusive World, uh, one of the uh, family clans of Exclusive Nation. Um, so, I don't know if you guys know much about these guys, but uh, fortunately, they fall to the dark side and uh, use programs to make their attacks. So, that kind of sucks. But, you know, we stayed strong and kept our heads up and just did our thing and did pretty good, I think. You know, we had a couple TH10 triples in there, cleaned up almost everything up top, just kind of didn't get that two star and that 11, but very, very close. Uh, some sexy attacks in here, clean the board on the nines. So fantastic job 2.0, way to stay strong through wars like this. Kind of um, kind of can be disheartening at times. I know I let it get to myself more than I should. <clears throat> I had a couple really poor attacks this war, actually. So um, I need to go back to the drawing board a touch. But uh, my fellow comrades uh, and co-clan mates here uh, really stayed strong and cleaned everything up and did a fantastic job. So nice job 2.0. Um, too bad we couldn't come away with the win here, but is what it is. Uh, didn't expect much out of this war. Uh, it was nice to have those anti three stars though to hit and practice on. Uh, let's start right down the bottom. There's a lot of nice attacks in here. Mm -mm -mm. So Glenny Boy brings a sexy little uh, queen charge here. <clears throat> Just clearing out the way of this funnel. It's gonna. Open things up on this side. Walk his queen right into here. Um, gets both of these air defenses taken out. Takes care of that CC. Let's keep this times two until it moves up. Things get open. Wall is open now. And she is going to walk right in there, just like I said. Take all this stuff out. Out comes the CC. Poison goes down. Take care of that. Going to take care of those Valkyries on Loon like nothing. The poison takes care of everything else. Looking good. Tesla's going down. It's going to step up, take care of that Wiz Tower, and then walk right up to that next air defense. <clears throat> so good value out of this queen charge so far. I'm going to finish taking out all of this stuff right in this kind of little section, and then only has the, um, the one air defense to go. He had three air defense on that entry. I think he did. Crazy. Um, so you'll see a few dragons in the bag with 12 balloons. One Lava Hound going in. Uh, really good stretch on that Hound. Just wants to bring it right across. Soak up all those air traps. Bam, bam, bam. Looking good. Looking good. Hound is in. Soaking up those air mines. And see you later, Hound. But it doesn't really matter at this point. It's got enough balloons kind of going in. All different angles. Uh, rage goes down. Kind of help things push things right on top of that air defense. It's going to get it just in time. Bam. Down it goes. And he's got dragons coming in from the other side over that queen chamber. Uh, dragons got really good value. I think he only brought three of them, three or two of them. Um, but that's all he needed, right? Like they they didn't do much. Killed the queen, and they're going to kill a few trash buildings. Otherwise, his king did, uh, or sorry, his queen did everything this raid. Um, Swag king here at six o'clock did not even need to drop that king. Swag haste in the bag, just a sexy attack line. Very nice. Tree stars in the bag. Beautiful. Yeah. Got a little visitor today. Um, what next? Really nice ones in there. Days. Clean up my mess. All right, DH. DH brings 10 Valks double jump. Thought this was a really cool attack. I like seeing uh, excessively heavy uh, Valk attacks here. 10 is a crazy, crazy amount. So that's 80 troop space, really. Um, only brings the one golem, though. Uh, gets that lure out. Takes care of the CC. Poison goes down. Going to kill all of this stuff. Yeah, I know. So everything's moving in from the 6 o'clock. Things get opened up. That King Hoff Fredo is going to suck all of the, the units right in on top of it. And then that first jump goes down. Very kind of compact core here. A um, little bit of a tricky core, but if you can manage to place your jumps properly, it actually really helps you because you can jump over everything. Um, I love this Valks sitting on that wall there trying to get that elixir storage instead of taking the jump. Good old Valks. Uh, but everything's looking good at this point. Sorry, I'm still in times two there. Um, but hogs are in all over this base. Has so many hogs now. We're jumping in, reinforcing things. Huge piece of his skill squad is still going. 
Hogs going to finish off this compartment. Queen doesn't quite make it through this. Uh, the hogs don't get there in time. So he does lose the queen here, but he's got just enough hogs. He's got, oh yeah, he loses some of the bomb there. Uh, the Valks and the King like end up kind of finishing off all this trash, working their way down, finishing off those last couple defenses. Not much left of this base. Bam, bam, bam. Kind of a weird base design. Very small compartments. Um, pretty much every compartment is earthquakeable or jumpable, I guess. Interesting. Anyhow, tree stars in the bag for DH. Nice job, my friend. <clears throat> All right. Next on the chopping block. Jub Jub getting taken down by Jamie. Like this attack by Jamie. She's really been uh, doing these zap quake uh, sort of charges in. I, I like the stone entry here. I thought that was really, uh, really heavy entry. Going to get uh, a lot of this, basically this whole kind of 9 o'clock to 6 o'clock section of uh, base. And when you look at that section, it's got three air defenses in there. So also with the zap quake, you're going to get three air defenses. The zap quake still have six dragons somehow <laughs> coming in uh, from at the queen chamber here. So zap quake goes down. Air defense is now taken care of. Just got to make sure you take care of those other two air defense. And Jamie is looking good at this point. King's going to keep moving in, jumps right on, locks onto that air, first air defense. Queen's going to help it out. She does lock onto this Lava Hound, but the wizard's in there helping out. So they're going to take that down fairly quickly. Uh, see the king rages it up after that air D goes down. Going to move right in here. Just needs to get that queen to finish off that Lava Hound. Once it pops, she's going to finish off the rest of the defenses over here, but has already, Jamie has already sent in her dragons. Coming from the 12 o'clock location. Still has six dragons. I thought that was great. Three golems with six dragons. And still has enough of a kill squad to push through that much of the base with a hound there on to boot, right? Because that's obviously the thing that'll take your kill squad the longest to kill out of any CC troop combination. Uh, but that third air defense is down and another one got zap quake. So there is no air defense for this base to go. This queen's just going to continue to mop up on this section. Dragons are working their way in. This base does not stand a chance. Dragons are just so slow. Bam, bam, bam. Sweeper's giving a little bit of trouble, but it's no big deal. No air defense, really. The Expo, Arch Towers, those are like minor threats to dragons. I mean, yeah, eventually they're going to kill one, but they take freaking forever. Queen's in there helping out now, too. Few buildings to go. Down she goes, and that's Tree Stars in the bag for Jamie. Nice job, girl. One dragon left. <laughs> a little closer than I had first, uh, first thought. <clears throat> it's a three. Beautiful. Um, hopping on up the chains. Good old Rip Torn. Torn brings a really nice stack here. Five healers. No, um, only the one golem. Twenty-two hogs. No poison. Um, when you see what's in the CC here, you're going to be like, whoa, how do you not bring poison? But brings the four earthquakes and the jump instead with two rages. Uh, giant goes down so that wizard can create that funnel. Wall opens up. Queen's just going to walk right on in here. Going to earthquake over this kind of nine o'clock uh, intersection. And then that's going to open up. Um, what I thought was interesting, first of all, I mean, I guess you probably didn't have enough troop space left after all this, but uh, you're going to have access to three air defense going in here. But um, Torn still off for the hogs on the back end, so I thought that was cool. Um, first rage goes down, help keep that queen alive. Bam, bam, bam. All these defenses going down. Watch what comes out of this CC and uh, just be like, I don't know. I could never not bring a poison if I knew what was in this CC. Just a ton of archers and... Uh, a dragon behind it. Uh, so, you know, to me, that was risky, but under a rage, I guess it doesn't really matter, right? A dragon is not going to touch a queen under, uh, as long as those healers are under rage, especially five healers. But see, even that, like, oh, just to me, it was just cutting it close, but uh, Torn knows his queen. So, <laughs> no big deal. Hogs are now in, kill squads now in. Still, uh, sorry, sending in just a few hogs on the outside here. Um, I don't think he, this was a cleanup because I'm pretty sure he would have known that uh, Tesla was there and dropped a few extra hogs to start, but he did not. So I'm guessing this was not a cleanup. Um, but again, just a guess. Uh, so the defensive queen's down. There's not a lot left of this base for 16 hogs. And here they come, right? There's no heals for the hogs, but he doesn't even need it. He's got, I think, um, 
eight or ten hogs kind of going in that 12 o'clock queen is up there helping things out just got to finish off that tesla finish off that mortar boom finish off this air defense and this base is dead see you later boom that is tree stars in the bag for torn nice job buddy <clears throat> very good read on that base freaking insane queen charge um all right let's just hop right into a couple of these tens and we will call it a day our man mixa just bringing a straight bully attack here has four jumps seven golems the 15 wizards this is an old school kind of standard attack um, I don't know if he was just kind of planning on going for two here because generally this is not a three-star strat. I guess when you're at Town Hall 11, uh, it kind of just turns into a three-star strat. So uh, you're going to kind of see how this plays out. Really good jump placements all around the base. Going to just let golems in and a horseshoe all over the base with wizards backing up every section. Uh, those wizards are going to start taking out tons of buildings, pushing everything right in on that inferno tower. That other jump goes down where all these golems met up. The other jump is going to let them right into that core with the or the other compartment with the town hall. The other inferno tower, Tesla, everything's looking good. Rage is down, getting huge value out of that. Grand Warren's protecting everything. There goes the Grand Warden ability. Once everything hops into that next chamber where that other Inferno Tower is going to buy just enough time to let everything get right in on top of that. Still has Golems in there unburst. Lots of stuff going down all at the same time. Still tons of Wizards alive. I guess a huge piece of these are, is just keeping your Wizards alive, right? Like you need that DPS. Uh, when they start straying, like you see these ones over here, they start straying and then they get picked off. That's when these attacks start to fizzle out. But I guess this base was a very compact base. So it allowed um, it allowed the wizards to get really, really good value without having to run around too much. Not no worries of hitting bombs, no worries of them wandering away from the golem. So good read on this Mixa. Just a beastly attack with those heroes. A few buildings to go, and that is tree stars in the bag for Mixa. Oh. Mom, you got them. Okay, well, that's right. Just be quiet for one more minute. Jeez Louise. Jeez Louise. <laughs> uh, okay, I got one more to show you. We're going to call it a day. Good old mofo. TH11 versus TH11. I love seeing these. Um, so level 20 Grand Warden, right? It's completely maxed 11, I think. Maybe minus some of the mortars there. And some of the walls, yeah. So very maxed 11 here, very close to maxed 11. Uh, Mo's going to go in here with a sexy, sexy queen walk slash charge. Just kind of opening all this stuff up. Rage goes down and keep her alive. One wall breaker goes in under that rage and it blasts open that wall like nothing. Bam, bam, bam. There's a couple more wall breakers in down here to kind of let her in and then let her out again. She's going to end up getting the, the Grand Warden structure. Get, I believe, get that defensive queen down. Yeah, there she goes. Has to rage it up, but no big deal. You're getting huge value. There goes all three heroes for this Town Hall 11. And this queen walk is still alive. And it can just continue back down, out, and around. There she goes. Just crazy, crazy value on this. Bam, bam, bam. Here comes the Archer Tower, and then here comes the Entry. So a few, uh, few Giants are going in. Just going to let everything in here. Opens it up for the King. King's going to walk right in. He's got a Jump Spell. Going to go right over top of that. Hopefully the goal here is to get the Cannon, Expo, Air Defense, and the Inferno Tower. If they could get to that Eagle Cannon, it would be even better. Um, I think they might get there because the Grand Warren goes down protecting everything. Boom, just gives that gives that invincibility for a second. Yeah, down goes the Inferno, down goes the Tesla, and they're working on that Eagle Cannon. Just got to get a few more swipes on it. Bam, bam, bam. Come on, Eagle Cannon, see you later. And down it goes. So just a beautiful, beautiful Queen Walk and entry for Mo here. Obviously, the air attack is completely underway. Horseshoes, are, or sorry, horseshoe haste all over the base or whatever you want to call that, a zigzag. Freeze goes down over that set last Inferno that's standing. There's just way too many balloons. Grand Warren's in there now protecting those units. Just a fantastic job here by Mo. 
You are such a beast, my friend. Such a pleasure to have you back. Although you're taking a bit of a vacation. Personal life gets in the way quite often. I've been feeling that lately. <laughs> Obviously, I've been uh, behind on my recaps. I missed a few recaps, right? But uh, I guess real life has to come first. Anyhow, Great War 2.0. Way to keep your heads up, guys. Um, yeah, I think we, uh, I think it wasn't much better we could have done in this war. Um, bar maybe getting a couple of these lower uh, Town Hall 10s taken care of. But uh, again, these are all going to start coming. You know, once QC, once Mal, once DI. Well, I mean, DI's queen just hit 40. But once all these guys get uh, these 40 40 heroes go on and really start focusing on some of these lower tens. These are gonna be three star. Let me tell you that. I mean, the, my, some of these, some of the guys I just mentioned, and some guys that I hadn't even mentioned are three starring stuff like this uh, with low heroes. So I can't imagine how they're gonna be once they get those max heroes going. Anyhow, as you can see, I'm getting slightly distracted now as I have a visitor in the room with me. So I'm gonna call it an afternoon, guys. Uh, that'll do it for your wisdom from Wiser. Just trying to help you bag that next three star. Till then, I'm out.